Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you watched GDC of 2019, you know that ray tracing was the new hotness. Now, it may not have caught on massively in the consumer space, uh, but one thing that really stood out at GDC 2019 was CryEngine's demo. They actually did a real-time ray tracing demo that did not require RTX hardware, and it is finally available. The code isn't available, and the version of CryEngine used aren't available, but the, the benchmark itself is. Now, I'm not actually going to focus on showing you the entire benchmark. This entire thing has been shown on the internet ad nauseum. I've actually captured the entire thing on a previous video back when uh, GDC 2019, when it was announced. And in fact, I actually downloaded it to check out how it runs on absolute crap hardware. And that's what you're going to see here today. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and grab the benchmark, uh, some documentation on the benchmark. Uh, but I'm also going to showcase how this runs on my two generation old development laptop. Um, and I was expecting nothing and I was actually quite surprised. Now first off you need to grab it. And that means you need to have the CryEngine launcher and a CryEngine account if you don't already have that. If you do have these things, do be aware it's also a four gig download and five and a half gigs when it's extracted. And it is literally just an executable benchmark, but you can get an idea of how ray tracing without ray tracing hardware can run on your machine. So once you've grabbed it, go ahead, download it accordingly, and then you will find it in the CryEngine Launcher. In the CryEngine Launcher, go to the Libraries tab, and you will find it right here. Now in this particular case, you will notice that it says Launching, and that's because it is already run. Now once again, this is not the full project. This is um, just the benchmark to run on your machine to see how your machine would perform. And here it actually is. So I'm just showcasing this at a non-great resolution, but at ultra ray trace settings. The most important thing to be aware of here is again, this machine isn't great. This is an i7 5700 with a GeForce GTX 970M mobile GPU. So that is technically two generations out of date. Now two generations ago, a 970M was quite good, uh, but now it would be about the equivalent of a 1060 or maybe a 20, uh, maybe a 1650 in performance, maybe probably quite a bit worse to be honest. So I expected this to be appallingly bad. Now this isn't good by any definition of the word, but this performance kind of shocked me. And I'm I'm video recording this, so keep in mind I'm gonna lose about four or five frames per second from the video capture process. Um, when I ran it without video capture, I kind of consistently was in the 30 to 35 frames per second range. But here you see we're still skirting up. If you look at the top right hand corner, 35, 36 frames per second, 32, 31. This is on a two generation old hardware doing real time ray tracing in software. Now this is not in CryEngine yet. This is coming in a future version. I don't even know if it's going to be 5.7. It seems to be one of those things a generation or two out. Um, but judging from the performance we're getting here, I, I'm actually kind of shocked it performs as as well as it does on this old hardware. I was gonna take this down and record it on my 1080, show you it you know, running at 60 plus frames per second or whatever, or however poorly or great it ran. But then when it actually ran quite good on this machine, I thought, hell, I should probably showcase that. Now again, this isn't at 1080p resolution. This is not, um, you know, a, a shining example, pun not intended, but it does show the ray tracing. This ray tracing settings, if you saw back in the graphics settings part, they are actually on ultra. Now I would be curious if you guys do go ahead and download this, list out the machine you downloaded it on. You just say um, CPU, GPU, and RAM. Those are really the only three things that are really going to make a big difference on this. But as you can see, it is pretty. If this is being rendered in real time, obviously, this isn't just footage being run. And you see we're do dropping below the 30 frames per second mark, but still, on a moderately modern machine, on a 1080 or a 2060 or 2070 um, or an AMD card that from the last generation or so, you're going to get rock solid performance out of this. Now see, my benchmark score dropped because I am video recording, but that is the Neon uh, Noir uh, ray tracing demo fully run on complete crap hardware. And again, I am impressed. I was expecting this to require pretty much the equivalent of a 2060 generation. I'm like, okay, what the hell is the point? Is it just to make it so it works on AMD? But they're actually got ray trace technology working on two generation old GPU. So I am definitely impressed. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more about this, they've actually got a pair of articles. I will link both of these, obviously. The first one from GDC, and this is sort of uh, an overview. So like I said, there are full view, uh, high resolution versions of the video. 
So if you want to see it in all of its splendor with audio enabled and all of that jazz, do be sure to check right here. Um, but they've got a bit of an overview of how they went about making it. And then they have this other document. Bah, 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 bah. And this is much more in depth of how they actually made ray traced reflections work in CryEngine without the requirement for RTX hardware. Um, so it's a bit of an interview, uh, it goes fairly in depth. And once again, I will link this down below. So I am honestly really quite curious to see, especially if you're running from the AMD side of things, I want to know what kind of frame rates you're pulling. So when I saw this one, I saw it runs at 1080p, 30 frames per second on a Vega 56. I was thinking, okay, on a 970M, it's going to run at 6, maybe 5 frames per second. But no, what you just saw was about 30 frames per second at a slightly lower resolution. Um, I, I don't know. Like this... This is kind of impressive stuff. And here you see uh, some of the cut down. So on a GTX 1080, we, we compute reflections and refractions at half screen resolution. Uh, RTX will probably allow a uh, full screen 4K resolution. So obviously RTX is still going to benefit you to a certain degree, but this is going to enable you to bring uh, ray tracing functionality and have it running on all machines, not just current gen, um, you know, very small sub-segment of the market with RTX hardware. Uh, and they've done a solid job. Now, actually, Unreal Engine has something as well, but mostly that is just so that you can uh, run Unreal Engine um, and do ray trace development on your non uh, RTX card and I tested that out when it was early on and it ran dog slow which is actually a big part of why I expected this benchmark to actually run utterly like crap so I'm actually quite impressed with what they managed to pull off here and so again if you want to get in the technical details of how everything worked uh, do be sure to check out this article uh, hopefully we will start seeing this stuff come pretty soon if you check out their roadmap here we are I think we are looking at five point seven and it's under yeah so this is your ray tracing support is going to be coming in the 5.7 release or spring of 2020 and then we've got some stuff coming further in the future um more rendering stuff um and includes i think improvements to the ray tracing but we can start playing around with this stuff in CryEngine in 5.7 and once again you're going to be able to deploy your game to uh, a great many more hardware and you don't have to work on two parallel lighting tracks unless you're dealing with obviously mobile or something like that uh, in which case you're probably not using CryEngine in the first place. So I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Is this a feather in CryEngine cap? This ability to have uh, ray tracing on non-ray trace hardware? Does it kind of make you go hmm Maybe I should give CryEngine a check, uh, another look. Um, it, it's definitely an engine that has changed a whole lot in the last couple of years. So, uh, yeah, so that's it. That is uh, the CryEngine new benchmark, Neon Noir, uh, running on a real crap machine. And once again, if you could, throw up, how, if you do check this guy out, let me know how your results worked out, what kind of machine you are working with. And again, especially I'm interested in hearing how this runs on AMD hardware. Okay, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.